So remember about people actually telling that AMD would never fix their DirectX 11 drivers? Well, they just did. Well, I wouldn't say fixed, but it is indeed a major improvement. And I mean it. The performance boost is fucking crazy. Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So as for today's video, we have an Adrenaline Drivers review, but this time with a May Driver preview or the preview May Driver 2022, something like that. Let's get confirmed. Preview May Driver 2022, okay? And as I say in all my videos, Preview means, I guess this thing won't work now. Now these drivers are actually the real made drivers and not the 22.5.1 which are the recommended ones because these are the ones that actually bring lots of new things. They do indeed improve a lot the DX11 performance in most games with AMD cards, even more on those on those parts that are actually CPU bottlenecked, okay? Where you are CPU bottlenecked, it improves a lot, okay? and um, at the same time brings lots of new features. So this is the real May driver. So without delays, let's go to the release notes right after the sponsor of today's video. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. So guys, as for the release notes, let's start from the beginning where we have the highlights. So the first highlight is Radeon Super Resolution, new sharpen effect slider that allows you to fine tune the sharpness effect of RSR to your own desired settings. So this is a thing that I actually asked AMD to do in the, in the video that I made of seven things that AMD should change or add. This is one of the things because um, on FSR 1.0 and 2.0, something that I will also bring you tomorrow, a video of the FSR 2.0, stay tuned. Uh, on the FSR, the sharpening effect actually works pretty well, but on the RSR, since we have the, the UI upscaled as well, uh, I would actually want to have the sharpen effect uh, as I needed, okay? So if I'm, if I'm not actually decreasing that much the resolution, I just want sharpness, for example, at 10% to not be over sharpened. If I'm using a lower render resolution, then I may want the sharpen effect at maybe 30, 40 or even more, okay? So you can now adjust it and it is pretty good. Now the start of the show. DirectX 11 optimizations for Radeon RX 6000 series. Up to 8% increase in performance on DirectX 11 based games using AMD software preview driver May 2022 on, on the Radeon RX 6950 XT versus the previous driver software version 22.5.1. Well, um, and it is not just 8%. In some cases, it is way more than 8%. But let's continue. I will show you later, okay? AMD Smart Access Memory Optimizations for Death Stranding and Watch Dogs Legion. Up to 10% increase in performance with new SAM optimizations in Death Stranding, 1440p very high settings, and up to 13% increase in performance with the new SAM optimizations in Watch Dogs Legion using the AMD Software Preview Driver May or Preview Driver May 2022, yes, on the Radeon RX 6950 XT versus the 22.5.1. They did a mistake here uh, though because it's always the same resolution and same settings and always the same GPU, so I suppose they actually wanted to change GPUs. One should be, for example, the 6950, the other should be the 6750 and the another one should be the 6650 XT, I'm pretty sure of that, so yeah, now you know. As for the known issues, we still have some, we do not have fixed issues, okay? We do not have fixed issues over the 22.5.1 that already just had one. But we do have lots of new features, which is great, and we have some known issues, okay? So the first known issue is, visual corruption may be seen in games menus on Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition and Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition or Definitive Edition using Raiden RX 6000 series. The second one is some textures may flicker during movement in War Thunder using the RX 6000 series. Next is foliage corruption may be seen in the Elder Scrolls Online with ultra preset settings using the RX 6000 series. We have another one, uh, the same one actually with Fortnite, the same one with a GPU, 
this and we have another one now display may flicker black during video playback plus gameplay on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden RX 6700 XT and then we have the same known issues as before as the 22.5.1 so we have three or four new issues but on the on the other side we have lots of new things uh, we have lots of performance improvements and we have a huge increase in the X11 games don't believe me Let's start with the 6950 XT on the X11 games. So as you've seen in CPU dependent parts, we actually get uh, a big performance boost with the 6950 XT, which is pretty nice if you ask me. But how about the other 6000 series cards? Let's test the 6600 XT. And once again, as you can see, the performance increase in the X11 games, in this case, the God of War and the Days Gone, is big in CPU dependent areas. Okay, there are some areas that are more CPU that are more CPU dependent, and the drivers were actually uh, messing around due to DirectX encoding. Okay, not encoding, but DirectX 11 coding. Okay, the MD drivers were coded in a way uh, where the threads would where it would actually use the first thread overall and if the, the first thread was actually completely used it would perform worse and so on. It is due to the threads and the load distribution, okay? That's why it had that bug and it seems to be fixed, okay? So, as you can see, the performance in both the 6950 XT and the 6600 XT is way better. Although in the first time that I actually ran those games uh, on both cards I had lots of stutters and it seems to me like AMD actually implemented kind of, um, of a forced shader cache loader, okay? So basically on the, on the X11 games, most games, they will actually load the shaders as you go in, okay? But for example if you go to the X12 or Vulcan games, they actually load the shader cache before and I think that AMD is actually forcing uh, something like that, I think that they are actually forcing the shader cache because on the first run it would stutter a lot but once I actually played it for quite a bit of time it was smooth in most scenarios and the performance was way better. But let's go even further, they only mentioned the RX 6000 series, but let's actually test the RX 5700 XT on God of War and maybe Days Gone if I feel like, if I feel like I'm going into. Let's go.
As you see, once again, even with the RX 5700 XT in God of War, in a situation where you are a uh, kind of CPU bottleneck and the uh, 12600K is a really powerful CPU, okay? Uh, so that's why I actually turned down the settings to original to actually force a CPU bottleneck in that scenario of the bridge. And the difference in between one driver of the 22.5.1 and the May preview drivers is actually pretty noticeable, okay? That means that AMD did something and they did it right, okay? And AMD is actually doing lots of things, though. so finally they have improved uh, the X11 performance in games. It's really, really cool. I can't, I can't say more than that. It is really, really cool to finally have the X11 games performing as they should, or at least most of them. I even heard that Crisis 3 had actually up to 24% improvement, okay? So that's a big thing. Well guys, hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video, leave your comments in the comment section, as always, tell me what is your experience with these drivers, because so far, so good for me, I have one or two bugs here and there because they are optional drivers, but overall they perform pretty well in all games, and well, the X11 games perform even better now, so it's a plus, win-win situation in most scenarios. Thanks a lot, and see you in the next video, guys.